Hi, Tatiana. I'm going to go ahead and explain this assignment and kind of show you um, what you're doing. So the first thing after you read the instructions, um, you are going to open a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. So you're going to go down to your programs and it's going to be here. So you'll scroll down to, um, let's see, it should be under P for PowerPoint right here. If you have Microsoft Word, you have Microsoft PowerPoint. So you're going to click there and you're going to pick what kind of layout you want. So I'm just going to pick um, this one and that's going to show you how it's going to be loud and click create. And this starts your um, your presentation. OK, so I'm going to move it up a little more. So you'll type your title in here workshop presentation you'll type your name here and then you'll go right up here to new slide and this shows you the different kind of slides you want so i'm going to go ahead and put my reference page in here because i want to build my references as i um, find things off of websites and in the book so i'm going to pick title and content and call it references and then i'm going to start here so um then I'm going to go back to the instructions and look at what the requirements are. So down here, let's see, I have to talk about um, importance of early childhood education. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add a header and I'm going to write importance of early childhood education. All right, then I'm going to go back to my instructions. So I got that from right here. And then recommendations for developmentally appropriate practices is my next one. So I'm going to add another section header here. So right now I'm kind of building the skeleton of what I'm going to write. Now I'm going to shorthand this because I can only record for 15 minutes. But all right, recommended practices. So we go back and that's that. You, we've already got a reference. Um, slide that's the first thing we did um let's see it says there needs to be a video and um, pictures we'll worry about that later um and then lastly you've got to include one reference to the standards of nacy standards for professionals so you'll see that in the book now if you look further down i give you links to tell you how to um cite things um so let's see. Let's see. Let's talk about, let's find information about early childhood development importance. So I'm going to Google importance of early childhood education, NACI, because I know that's a credible source. Um, and I'm just going to kind of look around here and see, uh, okay, what's that going to say? No, that wasn't a good one. I definitely didn't plan this video. Um, let's do zero to three. That's another website I gave you. Um, so, here is some good information. Um, so you don't want to copy and paste everything, but for this, I am going to copy and paste. So there's one fact about the importance of early childhood. So I'm going to go title and content and do fact number one. And then I'm going to paste it in here. And I'm going to call this one early development. Or, okay, so since this is a direct quote, meaning I copied and pasted it, I did not paraphrase it, I'm going to put it in quotations. And then I'm going to cite it. 
So citing um, is basically saying where you got it from. So we're going to add to our reference page. And if you look at the instructions, I've given you a couple links to um, how to cite things. Um, website is not on here, but if you click textbook, you can get to website from there. So this is how you would um, cite your textbook when you use it. And the color coding is over here to show you what each part is. But I'm going to go to website. Okay, so first we're in blue. So I look over here and see that is the author. So that's last name, comma, first. So I'm going to go and find that website. It is Jones Taylor M. And then I'm going to go back to the here. Next, I put over here, we can see the date when it was published. So I'm going to go back to my website and see, let's see, this was published in 2019. I'm going to put that in parentheses. And then next, it tells me in red over here, it's the title of the article or web page. So I'm going to go back and notice the title. Um, everything is lowercase except for the first one. So let's see, we must start earlier, the critical importance of zero to three. And notice I'm going to tab for all the other lines. Tab is right above your caps lock. And then I'm going to go back to my reference guide. And it says next, I'm going to say retrieved. You don't have to put the date from and then put your website. So I'm going to go right up here. I'm going to copy that website, put it here. Can't spell. <laughs> And there is our citation. So since I put a direct quote, I'm going to put last name, year, and the paragraph. So I got that from paragraph one, two. So I'm going to go here. And there we go. Okay, so if you paraphrase it, if you don't just cut, because you don't want to copy and paste every single thing in here, you want to be able to read it and put information there in your own words, then you only have to put the last name and the year. But if it's word for word, copy and pasted, you put paragraph or um, page number, and that can be found in your instructions to right here. So all this formatting tells you how to do that. Okay. So basically you just keep going here. Um, you put 10 facts for early or the importance of early childhood. You put recommendations for practices in um, developmentally appropriate practice, which you can find on the NACI website. You just keep building with all the um, information you get. So you'll probably want to cite references from your textbook, the NACI website. Um, the zero to three website, other websites you choose, um, and you're going to mention them in the actual content of this presentation, and you're going to fully reference them at the end, right, like this right here. Okay, so then you're just going to have to, after that, just add in a couple pictures and a video, and you can find out how to do that with a simple Google search. There's tons of tutorials on it um, on YouTube. Okay, so after you watch this, um, let me know if you have any questions, okay?